Welcome. I'm Adam Miller, a consultant with the art of applying, a graduate of the University of Virginia's Darden School of Business, and today we'll be looking at a question from the Q&A vault about the differences between the Harvard Kennedy School's MPP program and their MPA program, and how those fit in with the MBA program at the Harvard Business School. Hey there, you're watching Ask the Art of Applying. In this series, admissions experts on our team answer real questions from our clients who are navigating the grad school application process. Watch this series to gain perspective and get real expert answers to your most pressing application questions. And if you're interested in learning more about the expert advice, editing, and guidance we provide for the grad school application process, watch the free training in the link below in the description. Be sure to like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more application success stories, application tips, advice, and encouragement. Enjoy the video. So let's take a look at the question. There's lots of back and forth and see what we can learn today. The first person writes in and says, do you all have any guidance on going for an MPP versus an MPA at the Harvard Kennedy School. MPP stands for Masters in Public Policy and MPA stands for Masters in Public Administration. I fit the profile of an MPA more than an MPP. The average age of an MPA is 30 and years of work experience is five. So they think maybe they should be looking at the MPA program. They have six years of experience working on the Hill and in state government. The flexibility of selecting courses since there is no core curriculum appeals to me. So this person is really leaning towards the MPA program. However, on the website, they appear to stress already having a graduate school degree. Yeah, that's my understanding too is, for example, I could, I could apply for the Harvard Kennedy School's MPA programs because I already have an MBA from the University of Virginia. And there's multiple types of MPA programs that they offer that I might be interested in. In your experience, is this necessary to have that other graduate school degree? Since I don't have a grad degree, is it best to just apply to the MPP? So first person who responds here, she says, since you don't have a graduate degree, you should consider the MPP program more. Once you're done with the core curriculum, in year two of the MPP, you'll have a lot of flexibility to take elective classes that you want. It's great. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. That's similar with an MBA program. You're going to have a lot of core classes generally in your first semester or even first two semesters, right? That first year. And then after that, you generally pick your own classes. I'm a second year. So even actually our consultant, when she wrote the answer to this two years ago, she was still in graduate school herself. Uh, one of the few people working for us who is still in a program at the time of uh, being a consultant with us. She says, I'm a second year MPP student right now at the University of Chicago, the Harris School, and now I'm done with my core curriculum. So I understand that Harvard's MPA requirement is a little bit more, and the core curriculum of most MPP programs generally provides a strong quantitative foundation through courses like statistics, microeconomics, econometrics, et cetera. And unless you can take those equivalent classes at the graduate level, the MPP seems like a better match for you. These responses are making me definitely think this, this person should be, even though they have more experience in terms of age and working than the typical MPP candidate, if they're thinking about going to the Harvard Kennedy School to learn more about public service, the MPP is gonna be better for them. Lastly, electives generally use foundational concepts from the core curriculum. That's what I'm finding now in my second year. It's almost like each class I take now is an applied version of the ones that I took in my foundational courses in the first year. That's great to hear. Then our CEO and founder, Kanisha, weighs in and says, in addition to the thoughts above, I will add the following. If you're applying to and successfully admitted to one of the MBA programs that has a joint degree with the Harvard Kennedy School, then you could also get your MPA at the exact same time. As of the time of recording this, the joint degrees are with Dartmouth Tuck, Stanford GSB, MIT Sloan, and Pennsylvania's Wharton School. So if you're applying to one of those four MBA programs, you can also apply at the exact same time to the MPA program at the Kennedy School. So that might be great for this person depending on their interests and experience. The joint policy plus business for those who want to do Harvard and Harvard. So if you want to go to the Kennedy School and the business school at Harvard, then you're going to have to do the MPP slash MBA. You don't do the MPA slash MBA, 
It's really strange that they do it that way, in my opinion, but that's just uh, the way it's done. And that's, I think, a big reason for why this question today has so many back and forces. People are a little bit confused about the differences between MPP and MPA and how they should think about coupling that with an MBA. Another client weighs in and says that they went to a Harvard Kennedy School open house and that the students mentioned, as well as uh, maybe some of the people working there mentioned that the MPA has a higher recommended GRE score than the MPP. Oh, interesting. I actually didn't know that. I fulfill the requirements of both, barely for the MPA, since I've completed four MBA classes already. Uh, this person is currently in business school when they're writing this question. And HKS has confirmed that those are okay for applying to the MPA program later on. But since I am below both uh, GRE score green zones, as this person calls it, basically like the range that they generally see. This person's not a, not sure where they should be applying as well. The most important thing is to get in regardless of the program because even if I get into a master's in public policy program, then I could test out of some core subjects that overlap with my MBA so I don't have to retake those and then get quicker to some of the curriculum they're excited about. However, the MPA is significantly more international, which I am. So what that means is this person is not from the United States and they're interested in having more classmates as well as probably more class discussion from an international lens as opposed to US focused. Another client weighs in. <laughs> uh, so this is gonna be a little bit of a longer video than average. And they said, I met yesterday with a friend who did the Harvard Kennedy School Master's in Public Administration and the MIT Sloan MBA, so that, that joint degree. And she said that many dual degree students start as an MPP and then switch to an MPA for the extra flexibility. Okay, this person is giving some advice here that's really, really specific to, to most people that won't apply. So I'm gonna kind of cut this short on this part of the segment because basically it's possible to kind of alter what your transcript will end up being, uh, saying whether you have an MPP or MPA, once you're kind of in at the Kennedy School is, is kind of what they're getting at here. But for most of the people who are watching this, the biggest thing you can do is to talk to the admissions people and read the website for the Kennedy School to get a better understanding, as well as reflecting on what it is that you're trying to do and how many years of work experience again that you have. So going back to kind of the basics here, if you wanna do an MBA with the Kennedy School and it's not at Harvard Business School, you're gonna be looking at a MPA and one of those uh, other programs, getting an MBA. If you wanna do uh, Harvard and Harvard, you're gonna do an MPP and an MBA. And if you just wanna to go to the Kennedy School, generally if you just have a couple of work years of work experience, like you're in your early to mid 20s, usually that's gonna be an MPP, especially if you don't already have a graduate school degree that you did right after finishing undergrad, or if you already have a graduate school degree of any kind and you want to you know, get a, a degree from the Kennedy School, you're gonna be looking at an MPA. Uh, if you really have like at least seven years, generally 10 plus years, uh, you could even be looking at the Harvard Kennedy School's mid-career program because it's only one year as opposed to two years. And that's actually something I personally might look at someday if I was looking to go back to graduate school. So back to the Q&A section here. Sorry for the detour. <laughs> Another client weighs in and says, can an applicant apply separately to the Harvard Business School MBA and Harvard Kennedy School MPA? Interesting, okay. So this person wants to do two completely different applications. Because there's no joint degree between the MPA and MBA at Harvard, they wanna just do two separate applications maybe. And the second question they have is, could you elaborate Kennedy School's MPA versus MPA uh, mid-career program? And lastly, uh, does the Harvard Kennedy School's MPA or mid-career MPA uh, process include interviews? such as uh, MBA interviews. I'll just answer that last one really quickly, which is no. There's no interviews for the Harvard Kennedy School's two-year MPA or mid-career MPA programs. Doesn't happen. Some people might say that's a good thing because you don't have to worry about preparing for that interview. Others might say it's a bad thing because you don't get an extra opportunity to convince them 
uh, why you'd be such a great person to add to their class. So back to questions one and two, one of our consultants weighs in here and says, I think that you could, you can, you can apply to the Harvard uh, Kennedy School's MPA and the Harvard Business School's MBA, but you're gonna have to decide between those two. You cannot go to both and they're not probably gonna let you just defer because it's weird if you wanna do four years to those programs when you could have just done three years if you switched to an m 2 and gotten extremely similar content in terms of what you're learning. Sure, you can do it, but generally you should probably be just doing one or the other given your interests. Or if you really, really wanna combine public policy with uh, business, look at the MPP with the MBA at Harvard. All right, second question that that person asked is that, um, they're not sure what the heck is going on with the mid-career program versus the regular two-year MPA program at the Kennedy School. And um, that that's the difference that I said before, which is number of years of work experience is just higher in the mid-career program. It's for po folks who generally are in their 30s, whereas MPA more, more likely attracts people in their late 20s or early 30s who really just want to get another graduate school degree, whereas the MPA is people who are like ready to get back into the workforce as quickly as possible. There's no internship and they're going to just be older and have an even clearer sense of what it is that they want to get back into doing. So for that particular person, our consultant tells this person because they she knows this client, which one they should be leaning towards. And in their case, it should probably be the MPA program because they just don't quite have enough years of work experience, right? You're gonna need a minimum of seven to do the mid-career program. That is it for today's video. If you have questions about the Harvard Kennedy School, we have several consultants who went to that program. Kanisha herself is our founder and CEO. She went to the Kennedy School and Harvard Business School for her joint degree. And so feel free to reach out to us if you want to learn more. Uh, definitely check those schools' websites and you can find more information on our website at artofapplying.com. Thanks so much.